What's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode we continued here on Windfall Island to collect some more treasure charts from different side quests as well as another piece of heart. Well in this episode we have only like two more quests left here to do on the island and once we've done that we can finally place in the pearls that we need to uh, place in in order to unlock the next dungeon. And so, let's get started. So first things first, I actually want to head back to Miss Marie to uh, show her all of the joy pendants that we've collected. Because if you guys remember, she loves jewelry. What can I do for you on this fine day? Uh, we need to talk. When it comes to children, my eyes never deceive me. Someday, dear, you will grow up to be a fine young man. And your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. Um, so what if I take out some joy pendants and show them to you? My dear, that's a joy pendant. To tell you the truth, I love jewelry about it. above all else. And that, that's why it's extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around here. Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist, only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen in the wildest of my dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me. It's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know you... Who put you up to this, dear? Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ever ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you, dear. Close your eyes. And with that, we get a red ruby. Not bad. I need to see those boys again. Tell them I said hello. Alright, so uh, how about some more of these? My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right now? 25? Why do you think such a child would pay such a large tribute to me? My dear, you're, simp you're very impressed... Your teacher is very impressed by your efforts, little dear. My whole body is numb with a thrill of excitement. This is what pure joy feels like. I'll take precisely 20 of them. Thank you, that'll be just fine. My heart will be a flutter. I don't know if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. Just as I promised, I'll reward you for going out and collecting all these for me. I'm going to give you a wonderful, splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. And we've got the Cabana Deed. It's written on yellow parchment paper. Looks quite old. Dum da dum. You see, although I'm but a mere teacher, I'm a very own cabana in the tropical oasis down south, but lately I haven't made use of it all, so you can have it. Oh, it's alright, dear. You can stop gazing in amazement now. Now that you had, you had this deed, that cabana is all yours. You own it. So whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I'm getting in an age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me as of late. Now I can just stay here and relax as I continue my work with my children. Just so you know, you'll find the place southeast of here. It's on a tiny, lonely little island near the Triangle Islands. From now on, it's your own little bachelor pad. Bachelor pad, excuse me. Good luck finding it. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Yeah, so you guys remember that uh, private oasis that we grabbed the uh, piece of heart from a couple episodes back? I believe it was two episodes ago. Yeah, that's the same island. The one with the door that had a butler on it. That is precisely what we're looking for. Alright, so here we have Zunari. Let's talk to him. No, no, no. If you wish... To speak to me, please. I must insist that you do set up the reception counter. Rules are rules. Oh, apparently I have to talk to him over here. Um, alright, so what do you have to say? Yes, yes, yes. You're the young master who purchased my sale. At last. With those funds, I've been able to open up my stall. But I have to... I hate to say that my poor little stall is not an instant success. In fact, it's a rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have a wide enough lineup of products. For if I am to be fully honest, I only have one product. To put it another way, I think my stall could, would do much better if I could get stock some rare items that people can't get here in town. Yes, yes, that is what I need. Now to make plenty of money, not just plenty of money, it would be like taking candy from many rich babies. No, no, not even that. By running a prosperous business, business I can play my, play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, yes, that is the proper perspective. But dear me, if I only had a real young go-getter to help me out, a real go-getter. Well, I'll help you, bud. Yes, yes, master. Now that I have taken a longer look at you, I see that you have a fine delivery bag, do you not? Dear me, it is a fine bag fit for a hero of delivery. I have a small request, and it requires the use of that bag. A uh, request, you say? Oh, dear me, I knew it, young master. I knew you would understand my plight. It's a rather long-winded explanation, but please take the time to hear me out. My stall is a kind of general store that makes its money by attaining rare products at inexpensive product prices and selling them. With a reasonable markup, of course. However, because I only have so few products to sell, the shop remains rather deserted. I will sell anything. 
I'm a master of the sales. I just need to get some new products. Could you seek out traveling merchants and negotiate supply contracts with them for me? No, no, no. Do not look so frightened. I say contracts, but it's just a word. You do not have to do anything very difficult. All I need is you for to trade one of my products for a new product the merchant has in stock, do you see? Among merchants, a trade is a proof of contract. Let's say it is a merchant's oath. That's what we call it. Yes, yes. Merchants have a sw have sworn a merchant's oath will afterwards send their products to me. It is the way things work. So, as you succeeded in trading my product production, or my products, I was right, my product line will increase. Do you understand everything I've told you? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, yes, young master. You are now my new salesman. No, no, scratch that. Starting today, you and I are partners. Yes, dear me. Yes. I give you my proof of contract. In other words, this is my merchant's oath. Take it with you, my young partner. And with that, we got a town flower. And uh, we can basically place these around town. The first thing we need to do is take is another traveling merchant and trade it for something to build on the foundation of my merchant's oath. As soon as you trade, the merchant you trade with will send his products to my shop, thereby increasing my product line, which will make me incredibly happy. Well, your new trading partners, the traveling merchants, are waiting are waiting for you somewhere out there on the Great Sea. My dear, my expectations are high. Alright, sweet. Um, now, I want to buy the more flowers from you. Um, I don't remember how much these are. They're 10 rubies. So, if I need 13 more, I'm going to have to buy, like... I should have enough rubies, yes. I only need to carry three at a time, though. I believe. Alright, so I need to get out of this menu, because I need to actually open up my, uh flower here. No, I can purchase more. I believe, anyway. Right, we're gonna buy as many until it fills up my bag. No, so your bag is quite full, is it not? I can put a maximum of three products in my... Uh, yeah, okay, so I can only put three of his products in this bag. And so... I need to then pull them out and place them, yeah, just like that. And then, we basically just continue to do that until we've placed all these around town. No, I want to keep it. And all we do is place them around town. Super simple. And there's 14 of these total. No, I want you to place it down. No, keep it. Thank you. And then now we must buy three more. And uh, I'm going to keep doing this until we place all 14 around town. So, yeah, we'll just buy three more. And, um, and then we'll go around. Now, I'm going to show off all the locations of these um, different little items here. And then once we do that, yeah, okay, so of course you saw the two more that were right here. You have to target them first before you can place something down on them. No, I want to keep it, not, not... Yeah, it's kind of hard to get close enough to place this down. Let's talk to this guy, actually. Have you seen the small metal pedestals around? We call those joy pedestals. Yeah, they were kind of installed a little while ago by the newly formed Joyous Volunteer Association. Help decorate the town. And both you, that both myself and Zenari, the guy who runs the small stall over there, are members. You just have to be... Okay, apparently, I think this guy wants us to plant around the whole town as well. Now, to find the other ones... It's going to be a little tricky, because I don't think there's any down here, are there? Yeah, no. Oh, but there's a lady down there. Um, we've spoken to her already. Alright, um, there should be one. Yeah, right. Oh, there's two here, actually. And all you have to do is buy the flowers. I mean, of course, he doesn't have anything else in his shop, so that's the only thing you can buy. Uh, but you should um, get all of them. Um... Yeah, you have to just do all of them. I think there's 14 in total. I think I mentioned that already. Actually, I know I did. I don't know why I said I think. I know. Um, but there's two right there, and I don't remember exactly where all of them are. Some of them were back at the big where we started the episode, if you guys remember that. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep mine three at a time and then placing them around town. Alrighty, so there's this one. I don't know why the camera does that weird pan every time I do that. It's kind of strange. Yeah, you won't find Lisa or Anton out here, by the way, because you guys remember in the last episode, we did get them to start going on some dates together. And so, yeah, you will no longer see them out here. Uh, that guy is still doing his 
dance, I guess. There's a gravestone here. I don't know why he's dancing from a gravestone. That's kind of strange, dude. I mean, think about the dead person who's laying there. I mean, would they want you dancing on top of their dead body? Probably not. Um, there's none on the docks. There's none out here. I just wanted to check out here just to make sure there wasn't any, like, around here or even behind the bomb shop. Alright, yeah, I didn't think there were. Alright, so they're all just up there around town then. Um, yeah, there's a bunch. Oh, yeah, there's a ton right up there on that little out, like that archway right there. I think that's where the remainder of them pretty much are. And so let's just go ahead and place all those down, and then we'll be done. Yeah, so we need four more, I believe. Because uh, we've already planted uh, two there. Two there, which makes four. Five, six, seven. And yeah, that's um, just the perfect amount. So that means we've planted seven in total. I believe, anyway. I may be wrong on that. Um, did I plant one somewhere else that I just don't remember planting it? Okay, now my bag is full already. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. And then six, seven over there. And there's none around here, am I correct? Let me just double check all these areas. Like up here, there's none up there. No, I know there's not any up there. So yeah, they must just be... Yeah, there's none up there either. Or over there all right so i think these are all of them i think once we do these i think we can go talk to that other guy and he will actually show us where um no i keep doing this i don't know why i keep doing this no i did it again jeez in the link don't throw it away it's too priceless all right i think i want to buy just two more because i do want to keep one on me for that trade quest Oh, there's one right there. Oh, yeah, so I did miss, like, one or two, I think. Unless there's another one around this corner here. All right, so I actually need three more, so I might as well buy a whole other batch. Because two of them will be planted, and the other one will be kept on me. Uh, for the trade quest. Uh, it's another long quest, kind of like, um, the withered Deku trees that we've been seeing around. It's another long quest, because you have to have enough bottles, and you have to constantly go back and forth in between um deku or um the yeah korok forest and um the withered trees in order to get the water from around the great deku tree to uh plant the earth to get those um flowers growing again or those trees really all right and one more should do it because i think there's 13 in total Nope, I did it again. Jeez, how many times am I going to do this? I don't know, somebody give me a count of how many times I've done that. Now, I think if we now go back over to this guy who's uh, talked about planning around the town, he should give us an item. Well, Windfall just seems to be filled with joy lately, don't you think? So you've been cooperating with the volunteers, have you? You know what I'm talking about, decorating the town? Oh, really, you have? Oh, it never fails to amaze me how kind and thoughtful folks can be. I know, I'll return your kindness with some of my own. And we got another piece of heart. And we need two more for another heart container. Yeah. My Joy Jr. Alright. Anyway. With that, that took us quite a while, too. We're almost out of time already. Nope. Leave me alone. Thank you. And we're already, like, a good ways in this episode. I probably should have cut ahead during that. I didn't think it was going to take us that long. But, uh, apparently it did. But anyway, um, we're not too far from our first location. But we are done here on Windfall Island. And well, we're headed for, um, hold on one second. Where is Beetle? I do need to speak with him specifically about um, buying some more bait. Alright. I think Beetle should be around here. He's supposed to be. At least I thought so. Well, now I'm going to go look at my map just to see. Yeah, he should be here in the square. I just... Don't know where exactly he is. 
can't seem to find him. He should be over here. Uh, yeah, we're going to spend a little more time actually hunting him down, but uh, he should be over here, so no worries. We're going to go on a little bit of detour just to buy some more bait. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, Beetle should be here then. Should be. Um, there he is, to the left. Alright, Beetle. What's up, buddy? I'm gonna need some bait before we continue on. But, uh, actually, I just realized we only need one thing of bait. I thought we were gonna need two, but two of the islands that we're supposed to travel to, we've already discovered. We actually discovered Eastern Triangle Island before we even went into the Forbidden Woods. And, uh, the other one we got, uh, some time ago, um, a little while back. I didn't even read what he said. I think he was talking about Tetra or something. Sold him bombs or something. But anyway, that's all I really want and kind of all I can afford. It's kind of expensive. Ten rubies per bait. Luckily, I have just enough for rubies. But now we can head to our first Triangle Island. And luckily enough for us, since we've already been to the other islands, I guess I could cut ahead until we've reached the other ones. But, um... We have enough time where I don't really need to do that. I'll just go ahead and sh sail from one to the other for you guys. Um, just so you'll know exactly where to travel. So, this is the one map, or one portion of the map we haven't filled in with a triangle island on it. It should be in front of us here. We should see an island close enough. And, uh, hold on one second. There's a giant whirlwind here. I know I said I'd be going to the Triangle Island, but I'm, I'm getting distracted. There's a giant whirlwind here. Right next to this Triangle Island, actually. Um, if we get close enough, I bet we get sucked into this thing. Wow, that was a waste. Alright, can I throw out the... Please. What? Is that not... Hold on, excuse me, is that not the map there? It is. So my question is, why can't I use the bait? Um, don't make me spend any more money than I need to. Alright, I'm gonna sell into this real quick. And, uh, yeah, there's this guy here. Foolish creature who does not fear the gods. To the end of the seas with you, but the winds of Cyclops wrath blow you away. And just like that, we've been caught in another boss battle. Uh-oh. I just realized we don't have an item to take that guy out. And it appears he's transported us somewhere. Link, are you alright? It seems that the Wind God Cyclos bears some ill will towards humans. As you go forward, try it would be wise to try not get sucked into any cyclones you see upon the seas. Uh, but if only we could find a way to harness the power of the cyclones, then it might be possible to travel across the sea instantaneously. You do not have an item that can yet that can pierce distant targets. If you did, you might be able to obtain such a power. Keep that in mind. Yeah, for some reason I thought we had the right item. Luckily, he only threw us like one square away, so there's no need to panic. Yeah, the the island's just directly in front of us. You can kind of already see it on the horizon. Um, but we have already been here once already, so. Um, well, no, we're pretty much already here already, so I don't really want to cut ahead until uh, we start to travel to the other islands. Alright, so, it's, yeah, it's right here in front of us, and uh, so I want to try to avoid that cyclone, if at all possible, because uh, it definitely does more harm than good. Um, and I, for some reason, thought we had the item that we needed, even though we definitely don't. Alright, come here, Mr. Mapfish. Alright, okay, I can only go this way. Alrighty, I need to pull out the bait once more. Alright, Mr. Mapfish, give me the information. I wasted two things of bait already trying to find you, so let's try this a third time. Yeah, yeah, I want some information. Um, so we've had Eastern and Southern Triangle Island, so this is, of course, Northern Triangle Island.
Let me tell you something, Small Fry. The school on that Windfall Island has one gorgeous teacher. The thing is, this little gang of four little hoodlums is always causing trouble for her. Yeah, yeah, we already know about that. We've already uh, scolded those kids and saved the teacher's, I guess, job, maybe, kind of, but not really. Yeah, so we're going to stay away from that. So we're actually going to need a different item for that little boss fight. We can't use the boomerang or bombs or anything. Um, so, with that, though, we are here at Northern Triangle Island. So all we need to do is walk up this cliff here. And you see this statue here on the island. So all I have to do is walk up. And the eyes will start glowing. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses. Place the pearl you hold here. Uh, so it's since our pearl. So we'll place Din's pearl inside this statue. And you place Din's pearl in the ancient statue's hands. Two pearls remain. Yeah, so we have to wait till we put in all three pearls. But with that, um, and now I'm going to head to Eastern Triangle Island. And uh, since we've already been there, I'm just going to cut ahead until we make our way there. So um, I'll see you guys in just a second. And alrighty guys, here we are at the Triangle Island. And there just so happens to be some treasure here. Um, so let's say we go ahead and grab that. It's about right here. And sure enough, there we go. We've got it. Um, since it's, we're already here and the treasure's here, we might as well go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. And inside of it is a silver ruby. 200 rubies, yeah. You, we tend to do that a lot while out here on the open sea. If you find chests like that, most of them do just contain rubies and stuff like that. But anyway, we now need to head up to this statue, because this statue also is in need of a pearl. And this one is going to be holding Fairwar's Pearl. You can tell by the color of the eyes. So the last one was orange for Din's Pearl. And this one's going to be Fairwar's Pearl. Or the second pearl that we collected. Because uh, of its green color. And sure enough, it accepts the pearl. And we place Fairwar's Pearl in the ancient statue's hands. And now, only one pearl remains. So, let's say we go ahead and finish this off and put in this last pearl. So now we'll be heading to Southern Triangle Island. And since we've already been there as well, I will go ahead and see you guys once we get over there. I'll see you guys in just a second. Alrighty guys, here we are at Southern Triangle Island with all these giant water pea hats around, of course. Um, but we're just going to avoid these guys, and maybe we'll see them in the back of the cutscene that we have before. Right, so we want to stop, and finally place in this final pearl. Alright, so let's head up here. And of course, this is going to be Nehru's pearl. The final pearl that we collected. And uh, look, there's three of them. What's up, guys? Oh, and there's another one right there, too. You can just see their eyes glowing in the background. It's kind of funny. And with that, we place Nehru's Pearl in the Ancient Statue's hands. Yeah, Link, I'd probably run. Well, uh, it turns out nothing happened. Uh, never mind. Uh, yeah, it exploded. And there goes Link. But anyway, there's one of the goddesses holding up the pearl. As it heads to the next statue. It's that one. It explodes. And just like that, there's another goddess. And then finally, the third one. Heading back to its original location. Creating, well, a triangle. And well... There's the Triforce. And with that, a giant tower appears. 
I would say this is another staple of this game, just to see a giant tower appear as your uh, next dungeon. And, uh, yeah, actually, I wonder where Link is. Oh, never mind. There he is. And, um, ooh, yeah, that looked like it hurt. Um, oh, and there he goes. Into the sea below. At least the King of Red Lions is here to save us, I guess. And, uh, Link really doesn't seem phased by the, uh, giant wall he just hit. But, uh, yeah, guys. Look at the size of that tower. That's our next dungeon. This tower, which the, pearl of the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Only one who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only then will that hero be permitted to wield the great power to destroy the great evil. Link, that which you must obtain now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, which has led you to triumph over many of the hardships you've faced already. And you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trials of the gods. And with that, this giant tower appears in front of us. And we're going to take it on in the next episode. So if you guys like this part, a like gradient would be greatly appreciated. It's helped the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. Once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.